Hi guys, I'm Asif Ali and watching this your video. Today we will make this cool, simple, mass based healing beam effect in Unreal Engine. I will create everything, uh, material, emitters, lots of things you will learn and this is very basic. But yeah, it looks cool. So let's start this. So let's start this. So first I need uh, to create this Niagara and I'll take the empty and I'll call it NS healing beam. Oh, what happened to my keyboard? Okay, cool. So what I'll do, I'll just open this. First, I just need a slender in this. So for that, I'll just take this manual emitter and in the property in the state, I will use self and I will make it once and it is just one. Then I need a one particle. So I'll take the burst, which is one now. Life, maybe I'll use one for now. And seed of sprite, I'll take the mesh. And for the mesh, I will just search in my project static mesh. I have some slenders, but I just need a slender without cap. Let me just search. Yeah, this one will work. So I'll just browse this and I'll just pick it here. Okay. And let's also make this mm, local and I'll just drag it in here. So it's very small. So depends on your mesh size. So I'll just make the mesh size maybe 10 times bigger. It's still sm small, maybe 20. Yeah, I, I, uh, I think this is, this is fine. Just I need more length. So height. So I'll just use non-uniform and 20 20 and maybe 30 so now it will be long enough okay and one more thing you have to keep in mind first uh, let me put it in here keep in mind your pivot should, should be here and by default in my mesh it is let me show you how you have to check so if i go here and go to this and check the but shortcut is all p so should be here if this is here you can offset in niagara or in any 3d software or inside unreal engine also so now i need a material a cool green bright material so i'll just make m here. it will be very simple material so first i'll just browse my slender and pick it here I'll just use unlit and two sided or you can use one side maybe. so basically I need a gradient I'll take a shift C and take the green channel and if I put it here see now I want it to be mo more bright from here and then dull here and you can use power for doing that so if I increase this you can handle this okay but if you really want it hot here you can also uh, add multiple layers so what i'll do here i'll take the particle color multiply and multiply this okay let's take a dynamic parameter and this is our power so for now i'll just use this let's see how it looks Basically, I will just make it green here. I'll just take the dark color, make it green. And I'll make it dark, but you have to choose your material first here. So pick your material, browse and then select here. And then your color will come, let it compile. Okay, now it should be brighter from down. First, let me just make it more bright, maybe it's five. So now it's brighter. And if I just stop it here and take the dynamic parameter, I can now control this brightness like this. Let me check how it looks here. This will be
yeah it's fine it will work actually yeah it will work now i want to add some rings around it so what i'll do i'll first let me just make it cool so to appear it i will take the scale mesh scale and it has three so i'll just make it curve you can make it slot but i want to animate only uh, radius at the end so let me show you how so basically if you have curve initially i want all these keys zero and at like point one they become one so it will scale up like this or maybe 0.15 like this okay and then i'll put one more key and make this maybe 0.7 and then one more key and this will be at one and now this time it will scale but not the height so first i'll make this zero and scaling all oh we have to put more keys i think keys are let me just delete this when i oh it's just adding key on one but it should not happen it's happening but it's okay so i'll put the key let's say you have the red channel first so i'll put the two keys at 0.7 it's one and at one it's zero like this cool now i'll use the green and i'll do the same so at 0.7 it's one and at one it's zero cool and now on the z i will not add any key cool so this is how it will look cool cool now i want to add some rings around it you can duplicate it and make a ring but you have to change little bit material for that so i'll duplicate this and let's say i will delete this for now and i want maybe 50 50 radius and height maybe just one like this and i want two and then there should be some offset in two so what i'll do you can use this break this and i will add and then execution index so execution index will make the gap between two and this add will offset both together so if i now see together so now i can decide the gap between two and i can decide the offset okay i think i want 70 70 or 80 then i'll change the material and i'll make this two-sided also so i'll just duplicate this and i'll call this m ring first thing i'll do i'll make this two-sided and what i'll do here instead of this power we have this white i just want to cut it from here so what i'll do i'll take this sign and make it two so it will make that gradient both side then i'll take this tab and if i preview this like one it has this actually use this it will be wide although you can use one minus if you want so you have this right so now i will make it one you can decide how much you want so let's say i call it step okay and put 0.9 here then to offset it of uh, you can add how much you want to offset i'll call this offset let me show you what i'm doing actually oh i should have plugged it here okay so now here if i zoom 
and first I need to replace the material and if I just isolate this these are now black just focus on one what I'm doing here step 0.9 and you have this for the offset and what I want I want actually the black part to be visible and then this white part this grid part to be uh, masked so what I'll change something here I will invert this and multiply it connect this and this will go to opacity mask uh, but why I am inverting it because this will be white and uh, this will be black this will be white so I will save it now let me show you while saving you can hit subscribe button it will take just one second ok now it's cutting and um, but it's not taking the color let me sh oh I'll just put this direct in the color so did you subscribe you can just leave a comment if you need anything if you have any question say this is what I wanted to do and now from this parameter I can offset it so now what you have you have a ring with a thinner ring uh, uh, about that so if I'll go my this is how it looks and this is quite bright so what I'll do I'll just make it like 0.5 or 1 maybe I'll maybe make it 2 or 3 and now the animation so in the size now this time it will come like that but uh, at the end because let me show you they are scaling down on the radius so I want reverse of that so I'll delete these keys and now only on the Z I'll put key 0 0.7 it's 1 and at 1 it's 0 so the height will reduce see so this is what I wanted to do cool now we want little offset so I will make the life of my beam little shorter so it will finish quicker cool you can add little bit velocity or anything like if I add maybe just 10 little bit just to show that it's life Cool. and now you can add some like health plus cross sign so for that uh, let me just duplicate this one more time and I have a mesh called plus yeah let me show you the mesh this is mesh and it will not scale like that I'll just turn this off for now and for the material I'll just make a quick simple material let me just open this take the particle color connect it in both and that's it so it will be emissive and also it will be base color so we can brighten that or maybe use the same so I'll just browse this and use here so now it's brighter and I'll just go here make this one and we can randomize here so we can make it like 0.2 or 0.1 and 1 let's make it like uh, 8 and I will add velocity and then I will add shape location I'll take the slender without any height and this should be very small so not 20 I'll use maybe 10 and 5 let me see how it looks Velocity I will randomize on 5 1. Let me see. Yeah. We can add rotation 
on that uh, let's say initial rotation and not random on all axes just the z so you can now see them from all axis and the life I will make 1.3 it will be longer and then the size I will just make everything smaller at the end they will just scale down cool it's a very simple just mesh based effect so you can add light if you want so let's say if I add this light here maybe 5 let me check Oh, it's too much. I was just checking. Yeah. So now there's light on the ground. So this is how you can do that. So I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Keep learning and bye-bye.